What's up? This is Glenn Nubbs Morrison from Lines of Loyalty, and you're listening to Brutally Delicious. Cool, man. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you taking the time. No problem. So, where are you located at? Um, I live in Ohio. Ohio. Oh, okay. I'm over it, in uh, Richmond, Virginia. Oh, nice. So, it seems we have a bit of a delay here, so I'm going to pause in between so I can edit the awkward segments out. Yeah, that's that's not a problem. Cool. So, first of all, congratulations. Number 29, huh? Yeah, 29 on Billboard and Media. So, that's pretty awesome. You must have been pretty stoked to see it got there, huh? Oh, yeah. Hopefully, it keeps going up. That would be even better. How long has it been out? Uh, I believe since October, so when we released the album. Right. What has been the response to it? I mean, I see it's at 29, but what have you heard, like, from fans and from new people? I mean, it's just, it's it's been great. A lot of people, you know, uh, view it on social media and everything. On YouTube, I believe we're getting closer to a million views on the Hurts to be Human single right now, so that's pretty awesome. That's insane, really. I mean, when you think about the climate, being able to make enough noise, yeah. I mean, enough <laughs> screaming to get above the noise is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. I'm going to tell you, I mean, I heard Hurts, like, Hurts to be human as, you know, when he sent it over and when Shauna sent it over, and I've been listening to it while prepping for this. It's a chicken tune. Thanks, man. Have you seen the video? I have. I was watching the whole thing just before we started. Yeah. How did the, yeah, nice. Is this all nice. you get to hire somebody to do it for you? Uh, we we have a a great um, you know video uh, videographer uh, Juan Ibanez. He's pretty awesome out of out of uh, St. Louis, Missouri. He's been doing a lot of our videos. He did the past yeah. few of our videos for sure. Nice, and he comes up with the concept as well, or is that you guys? I mean, it's kind of collective. I mean, he does have a lot of input and visually and like seeing things and storyline stuff too but then we have like some ideas and then we just kind of all you know collaborate together and kind of see what we come up with and depending on the song and stuff too okay so you guys just finished recently probably about a month and a half ago a pretty big tour with static x seven dust and a few other bands right what was that like playing with such legends that was pretty awesome um to be honest like I grew up on a lot of those bands, you know, and um, we grew up, you know, listening to a lot of that style of music. And a lot of it's been kind of influential in some of the stuff that I do. And to be on on the road with them and playing shows with them and meeting them and becoming friends with them is just crazy surreal to me, you know. And it's pretty cool when I was a teenager listening to them come up as teenagers and then here we are years and years later, you know, and I'm 40 years old now and on the road with them. That's pretty awesome. Was it intimidating in the beginning? Uh, not really. Um, I just, I consider us, you know, just as good of a caliber as most of the bigger bands. You know what I mean? We, uh, we definitely put in the work and the effort. Okay. Is there a message or a takeaway you want your fans to come away with after listening to Hurts to be Human or really any lines of loyalty? Um, to be honest, all of it is pretty great. Um, you know, we uh, we want everyone to know that, you know, no one's alone for sure with anything. Um, music really brings a lot of people together, a lot of people together, you know, and our album really hits home with a lot of different subjects that anyone can really relate to. Okay. When you're writing your lyrics, do you feel a sense of or sort of responsibility to your fans to convey that message? Or do you just kind of what's in you and then let them catch on? I mean, honestly, a lot of the lyrical stuff is a lot of songwriting stuff with like Rito, our bass player. He does a lot of like melody and, and store, kind of storyline and 
you know, most of that album is pretty much a lot of our life, you know, but again, like I said, anyone can relate to something in a million different ways. Really, really. So if you're writing lyrics that are, you know, from your life, do you ever feel like you're too vulnerable to put too much of yourself into it? Um, not really. I want to kind of put it all out there, you know? I would like to say as much as we can about, you know, just anything really and just kind of have anyone relate to what we're going through or what they might be going through or could be good or bad. doesn't really have to be bad always, you know? Are yeah. you planning on taking uh, loyalty back out on the road again? Um, yeah, we got a bunch of one-off shows, a um, bunch of runs in a row, some festival stuff. Uh, all of our stuff is on our social media and website with all the shows media. coming up and all the different things that we're going to be doing. Okay, cool. And while you mentioned it, where can fans find you? Uh, can go on our social media through Facebook or Instagram, um, TikTok, the website, www.lunchloyalty.com. Um, there's a bunch of, you know, different ways to get a hold of us or see what we're doing through that. There's also a fan page on Facebook, the Lines of Loyalty official fan page. Okay. And when you guys, let's go back to writing for a second. When you're writing, are you writing with the live setting in mind, like how that song is going to come across on stage? Is it a good place for a jump or a breakdown? Or are you writing the song and then adapting? Not necessarily, you know, with the stage presence so much, but it's more about, um, like, a lot of it usually is written either piano or acoustic or programming or some sort of thing, you know, stripped down, and then we kind of fulfill it when we build it as a song and put it together in the studio. Do you guys all write together? Um... Yes and no. I mean, like I said, a lot of times Rito, he writes a lot of like the melodies and like the different parts and he comes to me with certain things and then I'll put my twist on it and then we kind of form together a little bit and, you know, come up with, you know, what you hear now. What is next for uh, Lines of Loyalty? Well, uh, I think it's hopefully planning some more tours, maybe some headlining ones. That would be awesome. Um, also just playing a bunch of shows, um, keeping up with our fans, keeping engaged. We are, you know, working on music all the time. So that's really great. So hopefully we can release some new music, but we're going to, um, write out this album for a little while and see how good it does. It's doing great right now. No reason to stop it. You know what I mean? So, um, I think that's the, the route that, you know, best for right now is just keep pushing Hurts to be human and it's doing great. Okay. So when you're writing, you said you were starting to write for the next album. Do you worry about not consciously writing Hurts to be human again? I mean, obviously you want to keep your fan base and your, but yeah. you also don't want to write the record over and over again, right? I mean, I know our fans have been following us before we were even lines of loyalty when we were a mixed company and the music's adapted and everyone's loved it then to now. So whatever music we do come up with, whether it's the same or a little different or, you know, whatever, I'm sure that uh, our loyal fans will, will love what we're doing. Excellent. And I don't know if I had anything else Did I miss something you want to cover. Um, I don't know. I'm just uh, kind of here for the ride, hanging out, and you know, just happy to be able to do uh, an interview with you and answer your questions and and hang out for a minute. Yeah, I think we covered most of what I had. Um, I cool. appreciate you taking the time. I really love what you're doing, and I hope to get to see you. Uh, I'm in Richmond. I hope you get to an East Coast tour somewhere along the way. Oh, nice, nice. That'd be great. That'd be awesome. Yeah, we've gone through Virginia a few times, but um, I feel like uh, that would be good more on, on this side, too. And and the middle. I like the middle, too. I like, like, Michigan and, um, you know, Illinois and, and all the way down to Florida, even, and back up and stuff like that. So going the West Coast, it's a little, little harder through mountains and all that, too, but it's not too bad. Right. Excellent. And lastly, thank you, my friend. I really do dig what you're doing. I hope it does even better. We're looking for a higher than 29 here. Oh, yeah. That'd be awesome, man. Let's make, let's take it to the top, right? <laughs> I take it to the top. Be well. Good luck. And hopefully we'll catch you on this side of the world. Awesome. Thanks, man. Awesome. Thanks, man. All right. Cheers. Bye. Yep. Bye.